Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video and we've got the global data download. Kid Gohan is the next Dokkan fest here on Global. Um, Kid Gohan definitely was the most likely. Um, some people were saying Super Vegeta. Um, I thought there was an outside chance as well that maybe we could see like a global first. Um, cause it's like, you know, the, all the blue Goku stuff, it's like, you know, especially with Kefla, Kefla is very out of nowhere on JP. Like it, it's just the, the, like, there's no signs pointed to that. It's just like, all right, here's Kefla, like out of nowhere. Right. Um, and it's like, I, they did this before. Remember they released Kefla on JP and then, uh, SCR LRUI Goku on global. So I was thinking, you know, what if they did like a blue Goku on, uh, global right now, but they did not, um, kid Gohan. Now, Kid Gohan, uh, real fast, is easily one of my favorite units in the game. Uh, this guy right here. Um, I absolutely adore Kid Gohan. I, I love this unit. He's a defensive stacker. Um, he gives all allies three key. He gives defensive support. Um, I think his active skill is my personal pick for best active skill in the game. I think it's just incredible. The healing, he then guards, he gives all allies defense. Um, this is one of those, when you need it, you'll be able to get it, active skills. Um, Link said it's not the best. I mean, things like Innocence, Demonic Ways, I don't know. Um, but he does have Saiyan lineage, Gaze of Respect, right? Uh, but I find this unit to be very good. Now, as a leader, I mean, Heavenly Events sucks. Um, this guy is a good leader for the Bond of Master and Disciple category, for sure. But... I, I don't know about, like, actually running this guy often as a lead. He's not something you're going to see uh, on the friends list, I think, very often, right? Like, he he's a good leader unit, but his leader skill, like, categories are just not that good. Because Heavenly Events is just not that good. And this guy's damage, by the way, um, is pretty bad. Um, unless you're able to have, like, another Heavenly Events category ally in the turn... Um, I, you're not going to see this Gohan really put up, um, big time damage numbers, I think for the most part, but he is very good. Um, if we look at the, the, uh, timeline of events right here, right? So you have Garlic Jr., Gohan, um, this is a free to play Krillin and Piccolo. We'll look at that in a second. Super Battle World probably will be coming soon, I would imagine for global. Um, but I mean, that's just an assumption. I guess I don't know for sure. Um, Final Form Cooler probably is going to be getting his ECA. During this celebration for Global, but again, I you know can't know for sure if they're actually going to do that, especially because the Great Ape, uh, Goku, Raditz, and Vegeta uh, are in this data download. We'll take a look at them in a second. Um, Goku and Piccolo for sure will be coming later on in October here, uh, probably closer to Halloween. Um, and then I would not be shocked if LR Super Saiyan Two Gohan's EZA came uh, later closer to Halloween as well, right? Um, Global also is going to be getting the 30 stones per day um, from the Bulma uh, mission, by the way, that Bulma event. So both Global and JP are going to be rocking a solid 30 stones per day from the Bulma event. Just very impressive, honestly. Um, especially, I like, if you're uh, a JP player, do not be putting these into Kefla, dude. No way. Um, if you're a global player, I mean, Kid Gohan is really good, but I don't, I don't know that I recommend summoning for Kid Gohan, man. I really don't. Um, by the way, he does drop tomorrow, right? Garlic Jr., Kid Gohan, the Piccolo. Um, Garlic Jr., by the way, as a banner unit, is one of the best in the game. He is a big bad boss's thirst for conquest, fierce battle unit, which means he's, you know, he's really good with like cooler, Turles, Bojack, all these characters. That's why it is a bit of a bummer that Garlic Jr. is not on movie bosses. Because this is the Garlic Jr. Um, from the like the, the filler arc that they dropped, right? Um, so that is a bummer. Um, I would have loved, adored to have seen my boy Garlic Jr. on movie bosses. Because again, he would help all those characters a lot. He heals. He's just a, a giga beast of a support type unit. Just very good overall. Garlic Jr. is really good. I love how, like, me and Gresh have been memeing so much about Garlic Jr. And they drop him in Dokkan, and he's actually really good. Um, all right, next, before we look at the other stuff, let's look at the Great Apes, right? So, here. Did, did, did they have them on the wiki yet? If not, we could just look at the details on space. Yeah, they don't. Okay. So, Great Ape Raditz, right? Um, he now 
is old types key for him 50% of stats. Not really too much of a big deal. Although that will make that one easy area uh, a lot easier. Is it is it Int Raditz is easy? I think so. Will be easier with this guy. Um, so he gets 80% attack and defense at the start of turn. 15% attack and defense for a key sphere obtained. And then another 80% attack on super attack of HP's 80% or less. Seems pretty good because then you also toss in that he's getting 50% attack and defense on his super attack effect. So, Great Ape Raditz. Yeah, 16,000. His defense, dude, he's going to be tanky. He's a tanky boy. Let's look at his link set. Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shattering the Limit. Um, oh, low class warrior, huh? Yeah, this Raditz, man. He's actually kind of good. I, I like this Raditz. They gave him a lot of different ways uh, for him to get attack buffs. I mean, for sure, you know, him getting a lot of orbs is really going to help him out. Dude, if you if you have a turn where you're able to get, you know, a good seven orbs with him, five plus, Raditz's defense is going to be quite good. I think Raditz is looking very solid, actually. Um, then we have Kid Goku here. Um, looks like Goku stacks attack and defense. What are his stats? Um, similar stats to Raditz. It's, it's good defense for just like an easy ATUR, honestly. I'll take it. Um, let me see here. And then at level 140, so he's a rainbow leader, all types key, 370% of stats. Um, 80% attack and defense start a turn. Another 80% attack and defense on super. And then a medium, ah, medium chance of launching an additional super. When HP is 80% or less. Again, that's that's the bad way, which is just it's a, a medium chance of additional super. It'd be better if it was, you know, additional with a medium chance of being a super, right? Um, and then, of course, he turns into Great Ape. Yeah, the Goku seems solid. He's a stacker. A stacker on a lot of these teams will be helpful, right? That is, that that's actually really good, right? Because, um, again, like, stacking units will be, you know, very helpful for a legendary Vegeta event and stuff like that. You know, teams like Dragon Ball Saga, Youth. Low class warrior, Dragon Ball Seekers, Great Eight Power. You know, Great Eight Power is a GT Legendary Goku event mission, and this kid Goku could certainly help out there. So, uh, a stacker added to a lot of these teams is helpful. Um, that's good. Okay, so there was our boy Kid Goku. Next, we have Great Ape Vegeta. Now, remember that Vegeta is a big bad boss's unit, right? Uh, what are his stats? 16,000, 11,600. That's good. Okay, so let's see what our boy Great Ape Vegeta's got going on for him. Super attack effect, 30% um, attack and defense for one turn, okay. Um, and then he gets three key 70% uh, to all types leader skill. 80% attack and defense start a turn. Another 80% attack and defense on super. And another 80% attack when HP is 80% or less. Yeah, he's good. He's, he's good. He's going to be solid. Because again, remember, he's big bad bosses. Um, so that will be helpful for Giant Extreme Super Battle Road, by the way. One of the more annoying stages in the game. You do have other strong Big Bad Bosses characters on there, such as uh, Baby and Metal Cooler. So, you know, that would be good with this Great Ape Vegeta, right? That's the thing about these three Great Apes. They're definitely better than a lot of the other Giant category units. So, um, it is nice that they're getting their easy ape. Dokkan really going crazy right now, man. They're just... Every celebration is like 10 easy A's. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And yeah, look at the amount of teams Vegeta is on as well, right? So definitely not a bad thing that our boy Vegeta is getting an easy A. Now, as for sort of like theoretical, these are a lot of the units. Um, okay, these two are definitely coming. And then these three are probably coming, right? Um, in order of how likely they are, I would say it's like this. Okay, so... LR Goku and Piccolo will be coming in part two. Um, they're a pretty good unit, uh, you know, for longer events and stuff like that. Um, I found that they'll look sort of unimpressive um, in, like, some Super Battle Road situations and shit. But it's like when you're taking them just into a long event and you're really able to build up with them, build up the second part of their passive or get their active skill off, um, they certainly can look uh, fairly impressive at that point, right? The Goku and Piccolo. Nothing special, though. Very limited amount of category teams. Not a unit, honestly, I would say that you guys really need to summon for. They should be an easy skip. Um, then this unit is actually pretty good. Um, only on the Heavenly Events category team. But on that team, they are, you know, solid. Attack stat is going to be low. 
but they're okay defensively, and they do have the scouter effect, and they are a support-type unit, so they do have some value, but again, specifically on the Heavenly Events category team, you're not going to be running this Piccolo and Krillin unit off of the Heavenly Events team, right? Um, then we have Physical Final Form Cooler. Um, I consider this guy one of the very best easy A's in the game. Um, I think... The top three, like, easy ATURs for me, like, you know, I, I like, you know, like, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Cooler, Transforming Frieza. I kind of feel like that's sort of, like, the like the gold standard right now. I do really like Int UI Goku as well, but I feel like he needs to transform before he's really, really crazy. Um, <clears throat> this Cooler is super good. And, obviously, you know, LR Full Power Frieza is, you know... Uh, here's the thing about LR Full Power Frieza and UI Goku... Um, is that they don't share category teams. So, Frieza's the best unit on every single team that he's on, right? And Cooler works really well with Frieza and Third Form Frieza. Full Power Frieza and Third Form Frieza. So, Cooler is going to be a great addition um, if you manage to pull either of those Frieza's, right? For a lot of these teams, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Terrifying Conquers, a lot of teams like that. This Cooler is really good. Um, in Super Saiyan 2, LR Gohan should be coming... Um, Probably sometime around when Goku and Piccolo come out. Um, Gohan is good, but it's just like, he's just like, he's good, right? Like, he should have been way better. Um, like, I, I think Physical Final Form Cooler is, like, way better than this Gohan, right? Which is probably not the way it should have been. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, the LR Easy A's, uh, they are very, very scared to go crazy with these LR Easy A's. It's just so obvious, right? They they do not go nuts at all with them. Um, Gohan is good. He definitely can help you on some of these teams, you know, like all-out struggle categories, Super Battle Road and stuff like that, but he's not like a, a savior of the game. He's just like like good. He, he's good. He's good. That's it. Um, and then finally, there's this Bulma, or well, I guess it's just, it's just a Trunks card, but it's got Bulma in there. Um, this guy is a Super Battle Road reward. Um, I don't know. Global sometimes is a little bit funny with how they operate with Super Battle Road stuff on Global, so I don't know. Um, I would assume that this is coming with this celebration, but, I mean, he wasn't in the data download here, so uh, at the very least, it's not going to be right away. It would be, like, next week at the minimum, right? But uh, let me know what you guys think of the Global data download. Um, Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan is coming. Maybe if you think that's boring, that's fine. I mean, 350 million down celebration, I would say, was a rousing, resounding, uh, success. So, you know, it's all good that the, the following celebration is, you know, not really as crazy or anything like that. Um, I would say the next major hype thing to come to Global will be Heroes next month in November. I mean, you know, we could be seeing things like Evolution Blue, Gogeta, um, you know, Super Saiyan 3, Goku Black. Shit like that could be coming to Global and JP next month, so that would be very cool. So, let me know what you guys think of Kid Gohan coming to uh, Global. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.